Hi everyone, and welcome to the MAT 211 review of mean, variance, and standard deviation. My name is Julia, and I work for the tutoring centers at ASU. So we have this function, f of x equals 2 times x squared on the range 0 to 2. And we want to find the expected value, e of x, the variance, sigma squared x, and the standard deviation, sigma x. So let's start with the expected value, because we'll need that for the others. So recall that the expected value, when we're given some um, probability density function, is e of x equals negative infinity, the positive infinity, of f of x times x dx. Now note that our function here is only, this only is true on the range 0 to 2. So we can assume that outside of this range, this uh, probability density function is 0. So that means that those ranges of values from negative infinity to 0 and then from 2 to positive infinity don't contribute any, anything to this integral. So we can actually go ahead and ignore those. So this is going to be equal to the integral from 0 to 2 because that's the only range in which this probability density function is anything other than 0. So now we have f of x here, which is our function here, 2x squared times our x, times x from here, and then dx. And we can go ahead and combine this to be zero, integral from 0 to 2 of 2x to the third dx. So we're just combining the x squared and the x here. If we go ahead and integrate this, this gives us 2 times x to the fourth. And then we have to balance our coefficients here. So we'll have uh, times 1 over fourth. And we're going to go ahead and evaluate that whole thing from 0 to 2. So we can go ahead and combine this a little further. So 2 times uh, 1 over 4 is going to be 1 half. And then times our x to the fourth here. Evaluated again from 0 to 2. So we'll start with our 2 since it's the top. So we're going to have 1 half times 2 to the fourth minus our 1 half times 0 to the fourth. Well, this just equals 0. So really all we're looking at is this here. So this goes away. So we have 1 half, and then 2 to the fourth is going to be 16. So we just have 8 because 16 divided by 2 is 8. So that is our expected value. Let's go ahead and write this up in the corner here so that we can get it out of our way for our other problems. So e to the x equals 8. Now notice that this is our mean. So expected value is equal to the mean. It's the same thing. So keep that in mind for the next part of our problem. So let's erase a little bit here. Make some space. So next, we want to find the variance sigma squared of x. This is going to be, so if we write this out here, variance of x, which is also sometimes written as var of x. Same thing, just different notation. This is going to be the integral from negative infinity to positive infinity of x minus mu, where mu is the mean, squared, quantity squared, times our f of x, our probability density function, dx. Now remember we said that mu here is equal to the expected value of x, so we can substitute that in. So this gives us well, again, well, so let's write, let's write in the function, function first. So we've got x minus 
our expected value, our mu, which we found to be eight. So we're gonna x minus eight, quantity squared, times our probability density function, two times x squared, dx. And again, remember that we don't, none of the values outside of zero to two contribute anything to this probability density function. They're all equal to zero outside of zero to two. So we can just rewrite our bounds as being zero to two here. So I'm gonna wrap over here to keep working on this. So come back around here. The first thing we wanna to do to evaluate this is we wanna expand this um, squared term here by foiling it or however you like to do that. But this will give us zero to two of x squared minus 16x plus 64 times 2x squared dx. And then we can distribute our 2x squared, which is going to give us 0 to integral from 0 to 2 of 4x to the fourth. Oh, 2x to the fourth, adding an extra 2 there. Silly me, 2x to the fourth minus 32x to the third plus 128, so that's 2 times 64, x squared. And that whole thing, dx. So now we just need to integrate this. This gives us... two over five x to the fifth. So that's our first term here with our coefficients balanced. Minus 32 over four x to the fourth. That's this guy. Plus 128 over three x to the third. And we're gonna evaluate this from zero to two. Now notice that 32 over four is actually just eight. So let's just write in eight here and simplify our problem a little bit further. So then if we go ahead and evaluate, well, we have for our two here, we're gonna have two over five times two to the fifth minus eight times 2 to the fourth plus 128 over 3 times 2 to the third. And then notice that when we plug in our zero here, all of these terms end up going to the zero to zero since we have x, you know, x to whatever power. Well, zero to the fifth, zero to the fourth, zero to the third that's all still zero. So it doesn't matter what the, the numbers next to them are. All of those terms are gonna go to zero. So we can just say minus zero here and save ourselves some writing. So now if we wanna go ahead and evaluate these, two to the fifth is going to be 32. So we have two over five times 32 minus eight times, well, two to the fourth is 16, as we saw before, so eight times 16, plus 128 over three times two to the third, which is eight, so times eight. If we multiply these out, we get 64 over five minus 128 plus 1024 divided by three. Now we can go ahead and um, make all the, our denominators the same so that we can add these directly. So we'll multiply this first one, uh, this first term, six, uh, 64 over five by three times three to make it 15. So this gives, or 15 on the bottom that is. Th so this gives us 192 over 15 minus, well, we'll want to multiply this uh, 128 by 15 over 15. So this will become 
hundred or a thousand and nine hundred twenty over fifteen. And we'll have for our last term multiplying both the top and the bottom by five, we'll get plus five thousand one hundred and twenty over fifteen. Then this is going to add up to three thousand nine hundred and two, or excuse me, 3,392 over 15, which is approximately equal to 226.133, and the three is repeating here, so we'll just say three, four. So let's go ahead and write that up. We'll write it in our right-hand corner here. So we've got sigma squared x is equal to 300 or 3,392 over 15, which is approximately equal to 226.1334. Great, so that was a bit of a longer problem, but the last part of our problem is pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and erase a little bit here to make ourselves a smidge of space. Do, 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 do. That's probably good enough. We don't need that much space for the last part. So remember that standard deviation is simply the square root of variance, and specifically it's the positive square root of variance. So if we have our sigma of x here, we know that that's going to be the square root of our sigma squared x, our variance. So we can just go ahead and plug in, I'll use the fraction here just because it's exact, of, uh, that we found for our, vari our variance. So that's gonna be the square root of 3,392 over 15, which is equal exactly to eight times the square root of 795 over 15, and approximately equal to 15.0377. So that's it. We have our expected uh, value, which is equal to eight. Our variance, which is equal to 3,392 over 15. And our standard deviation, which is equal to approximately 15 uh, point zero three three, excuse me, fifteen point zero three seven seven. There we go. So actually, let's go ahead and box both of these answers since they're t both technically correct. And that's it. So before I go, I just want to remind you all that if you're looking for any additional tutoring or academic support at ASU. You can visit the Tutoring Center's website at tutoring.asu.edu to find all of our resources. Also, if you're looking for tutoring services for your specific course, you can use our tutor search tool, which you can find off of our main web page here, or by going directly to the tool at this full link on the screen. So thanks so much, and have a great rest of your day.